how to get a virtual card. Hello everyone and welcome back. So if you're someone that is looking to make sure that their payments are secure and safe and if you're trying to keep your privacy in today's world where your data is being shared constantly or if you're like me and you're constantly shopping and you want to be able to use a secure card and keep your money safe, you can do it all with a virtual card. Virtual cards give you the benefit of having a credit card and having that money with you without having the security issues, without having the privacy leak or the data leaks that you normally would feel when you're using your regular credit card. So let's get started with a couple of the different options that I have for you guys today when it comes to virtual credit cards. So there are quite a few different options for virtual cards and I'm gonna be going through some of these and I'll tell you guys more about them. So first off, we have Slice. Slice is a virtual card that is going to be created with UPI first. Uh, you can see, you can borrow your way, you can set up your own customized repayment cards and still enhance your credit store, a credit score while you are borrowing. So the point of credit cards for most people is to build credit and you want that to be able to, you know, uh, buy a mortgage. But when you are, you know, using a couple of these cards, sometimes you're not getting the benefits of a credit card that you normally would. But with Slice, you can earn the same rewards as you normally would, whether you are using a regular card or not. So to get started, you can simply head on over to sliceit.com. And from here, you can proceed with their sign up. And moving on to the second uh, virtual credit card that I have, it's called Pays. And Pays is a no fuss quick account that you can create to access your e-wallet, top up online, via the Pays app and start spending in minutes. Their cards are supported by MasterCard, so with that, you have amazing options and they work pretty much like a bank. So you can spend anywhere, anytime, just like you normally would. It's truly international and Pays cards are MasterCard, so they give you complete control over spending, instant access, and you can use them no matter where you are in the world. They have unlimited free Wi-Fi at over 50 million hotspots. And you guys can see you have a lot of different benefits. You can freeze and unfreeze your card, set spending limits, and do much more. So after that, we have PayPal. And PayPal Personal is, again, another amazing tool. Uh, PayPal, it's called People, but I like to call it PayPal because it's spelled like that. It's a non-digital bank app that gives you access to a virtual card. And you have all of the same benefits that you normally would. You have enhanced data protection. You can get your physical visa delivered to your home. With Pace, you're going to get MasterCard. With PayPal, you're going to get a Visa card. So a lot of people are looking for a specific type of card. So you can actually choose the one you want. And PayPal or People is going to be a really great tool for those that are looking for a Visa card that you might you know, want to use the benefits of Visa. Then you have AstroPay. AstroPay is something that a lot of people have heard for. It's a global wallet for travelers creator. It's it's multi-currency, which I love, which can serve as a interchangeable wallet. Has all of the features of a bank account. And you also have MasterCards with AstroPay. And it's really simple to keep your money safe in AstroCard. You have dedicated support, privacy, and data with encrypted data for your safeguard. And you have international safeguarding as well. Then we have Skrill. Skrill is something we all have heard of. We can make your money move with Skrill. They have both a Google and iOS application. You can send, pay online, and receive money. And you can build your own Skrill card. Then last on my list today is privacy. So privacy is one of the best virtual card creators out there. You can protect your payments and keep free trials for free with privacy. Privacy blocks overcharging, prevents fraud, sets limits to your spendings, and you can close and open cards at any time. You can also protect your information and you can block unwanted subscriptions from recurring on your cards. Now, with virtual cards, you have uh, the ability to manage your finances a whole lot more clearly as compared to whether you were just using them regularly. Now, we are going to click on sign up. Now, there are a few caveats to a lot of these cards and we're going to be discussing that. Firstly, if you're using privacy, you have to be a U.S. citizen and you have to have a U.S. phone number. Now, if you are looking to build a privacy card, which a lot of you guys can do even if you're not in the U.S., 
simply use a VPN such as NordVPN or ExpressVPN and you're going to use Get Verified. Uh, Get Verified is an online text verification tool that can help you in just verifying your um, phone number. So you can get a US-based phone number and you can verify with that phone number to create your account. But you're just going to sign up for your privacy account, confirm your email address over here. And once you do that, you can complete your profile. So you're going to click on complete your profile and just proceed with your information. Once you have completed your profile info, you can connect to your bank account or to your funding source. You can even connect it to another account like Apple Pay. Then click on new card over here. And once you click on new card, you can choose to create which privacy cards you want to create. You can see you have things like um, Geico, State Farm, digital cards like Apple Pay, Google Pay, Twitch, Microsoft, DoorDash, Uber, shopping, gaming, all of that is included. For example, let's say I want to build a digital Apple Pay card, create my um, privacy card, and you guys can see I have created my card. Now, obviously our card is created, but currently I have to uh, add a funding source. So we're going to click on finish signing up. This is for myself and I am just going to add our first name, first name, and then we're going to add all of our info like so. Then from here, you're going to add your permanent US residential address, no PO boxes or temporary addresses. You're going to add your street address, your apartment or unit, and then you're going to add your zip code. Once you do that, your card is going to have all of the information like you normally would have on any credit card. So you're going to have your credit card number, expiry number, and a CVV date. And you will also have, you know, your first name, last name on the card. So you can basically pay with this virtual card any and everywhere. Same goes for a lot of these other tools. So if you're looking to get started with AstroPay, just click on sign up over here. AstroPay is not limited to US only. Um, it is something that you can use internationally. You can see over here you have different verification codes. So you can just go on ahead and enter the country code or select it from the list of countries provided. And you can sign up for AstroPay. Skrill works in the same way. Uh, Skrill is also available internationally or globally where you can sign up depending on your uh, region. Select a currency. I want to go with USD. Click on next over here and you're just going to sign up with your email address. And then once you complete your profile information, your card is going to be ready to use. One thing to note is that for any card, you do have to link to your bank account or, you know, a uh, source of income, not a source of income, but a source of your funds where the card can actually be paid off from. So keep that in mind. And for a lot of these, you do have to do ID verification. So if you are looking to do that, make sure you have your ID or your social security number with you when you are signing up. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with creating your own digital credit cards or virtual cards. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, make sure to leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.